Get ready for fun. Get ready for laughs. Get ready to have a great day. Live from the KHOU 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. It is National Magic Week, and you just saw two-time international champion magician Ben Jackson. He'll perform throughout the show with his tricks and a treat for us a little bit later on. And later in the show, champion magician Ben Jackson has a few tricks up his sleeve. Can you show us a quick one as we go to break, Ben? Got Okay, well, we saw his handiwork earlier in the show. Welcome back, magician Ben Jackson. Hey there, man. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Good to see All you. Right. So, wow, I see the bag of candy here. Yeah. We're going to get a trick or a treat. Oh, you better believe it. I went to the grocery store last night. I got my handy dandy boo bag, so I'm ready for all the trick or treaters. Yeah. Absolutely. So, good uh, Deborah, stuff, too. I'm going to ask you the age old question trick or treat? I think I think I want, I think I want to, do I want to, I think I want a treat. Oh, treat? Or do I want a trick? Oh, you know, we got to save the treat for dessert. How about the trick okay, or Well, I want this treat after your trick. Okay, how about that? Okay. We can do that. We'll right. compromise. Right. There uh, we go. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. a dollar on yeah. you? Yeah, I, I happen to have a dollar on Phenomenal. me. Phenomenal. Yes, a regular old dollar right here. The great thing about close up magic, Deborah, is that you don't need big boxes or tight leather pants. You can do the extraordinary with the ordinary. Well, if you had tight leather pants, I may have given you more than a dollar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Different show entirely, ladies. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to go to the audience. Oh, you tore the dollar. I know. I know. Sir, don't mean to wake you. Hold on to that corner piece. Hold tight. One, two, three. Gang, we're all now a witness. I didn't rip that bill. He did. Okay? <laughs> Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Deborah, this is your receipt, okay? <laughs> Can you confirm the last digits being 631F of the serial number? Yes. Very good, very good. Do me a favor, squeeze that piece into your hand. Okay. I'll take the rest of the bill, fold it up nice and small, okay? Here we go. Hmm? Pizza napkin from the green room. Now, Deborah, I will tell you right now, there's some danger in this, but I tell you now because it's too late, Deborah. It's too late. Okay. okay. All right. I'm gonna use a little bit of heat, not much, a little bit of heat. Now don't move. Squeeze tight. Watch okay. this. One, two, three. Oh. oh. Deborah, Deborah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow. My dollar is gone. Exactly. Uh, or, or what happened to my dollar? So here's the deal, Deborah. How blown away would you be if that bill, which just blew up into a cloud of flame, somehow traveled through time and space and landed back into your fist? There's no way. Check this out. Watch this. Ready? Boom. Magic. Magic. <laughs> Deborah, open your hand. Is the bill restored? Uh, no. It's like a corner of the... That would have been good, though. That would have been good. Fantastic. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I'm hungry. Time for the treats. Time for the treats. Very good. Very okay. good. Uh, yeah, I got my handy-dandy boo bag here. Let's, uh... Let's cut this up. Yeah, because that was sealed. Very good, All very right. good. Let's get some, uh, how about Miss right here in the pink? You got, we have Butterfinger, we have Crunch Bar, we have, Baby Ruth, what would you like? Butterfinger. Butterfinger, butter phenomenal, finger. phenomenal. Butter finger. We got a Butterfinger, okay. that's what we do. Yeah. Deborah, oh, check this out, hold on okay. to that Butterfinger. This is so crazy, so crazy. Look at this, free choice bag of candy. If I snap my fingers, one, two, done. Did you feel the magic? No. This is so crazy, because look, <laughs> inside this Butterfinger, Look at this. If I get it, I get this open. Inside, oh look, is a Butterfinger. It's just a Butterfinger, okay. Deborah. It's a Butterfinger. Yeah. But look, if we want to exceed expectations like we do here in Great Day Houston yes. every day, we'll do the impossible. We'll do the impossible. Look, if I crack this open, look at this. Stop it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Something inside? Okay. No way. No. It's like David Blaine here, people. <laughs> look at this, Deborah. That is not just any dollar. That's a dollar with a corner missing. Oh my God, you have that corner piece? I have the corner piece right Oh my here. gosh, Deborah. Read off the serial number, what is that? 631F and is all I have left. What does that say? 631F. Does that line up fiber for fiber, tear for it, tear? It, that, how did that happen? That's her bill, the folks, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Miracles on the man, Deborah. What yeah, can I say? What yeah. can I say? Okay, I, I, you know, I would say, how did you do that? But if he told us, he'd have to kill us, right? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I'll go that far. Hey, when did you first start doing magic? I got in magic at about eight years old, visiting some family friends in Kansas. My dad's good buddy was a magic enthusiast. He showed me some magic and phew, blew my mind. So yeah, that's how I got and it's it. one thing to love it, because I think everybody really loves it, but to, to make it your career and then end up going, there's some famous people that you've been with over the years, oh, yeah. uh, but actually using it at, as kind of your livelihood. This yes, is your passion my and your vocation. career. This yeah. is cool. Has there ever been one that, a big one that didn't work out? Oh, wouldn't want to mention that on the air, Deborah. Yeah, but, right. uh, <laughs> like, like the I magic. am human after yeah, all. Yeah, like something human. happened right there. But you just keep moving on with it. You have such a great personality. Thank you. And I think people always root for you. In the, and I don't know how you did this. Me either. Okay. Me either. Well, Ben has a show coming up next month. He incorporates a piano for a magical musical. That's at Raveno Country Club in spring, November 20th and the 22nd. And you can get more information on that and all things Ben Jackson related at our website, Great Day Hughes. Houston.com. So thank you very much. Some of our audience members are actually going home with some free and fun things to do, like Sharon McNair. Congratulations. Have a great day, everybody. Woo